What is this? Where am I? Am I dreaming again? This is different. It isn't my recurring dream. I can't stop walking. My legs aren't responding. Holy Moses, what... what is that creature on the horizon? Wait a moment, I... no, no, no! Can breathe underwater. You can also talk I underwater. Back. I, I have to find. I don't like the sound of that. What I is don't... that? What kind of creature is this? Oh yeah, I'm not really a fan. Um. Uh. I need to get a closer look. Do you though? Do you really? <gasps> All right, we we a mer person now. Ah, uh, what? What happened? Oh, how did I get to this beach? Oh, I have a terrible headache. Cut. Vanishing of the Lady Shin. The founder is right here. I think. That ship torn apart and cast so far up the beach. What on earth could have happened to it? That looks like a way in over there. We're gonna obviously check around here first. Ropes are frayed, and there are strange marks on the wooden pole. Hmm. Strange indeed. here looks like they took items from the stranded ship it's also very dark my god look at his contorted face is this what's going to happen to me it took the four of us to subdue him where did he get his strength those footprints definitely do not look human no, they don't. Those footprints definitely. I didn't mean Those to hit that twice. Taken from a distance. What is he doing? Floating rocks? The doctor seems to be whispering to some rocks. Are they floating? I do not see floating rocks. Um, are we are we looking at Enzmithians? So, uh, is, is this recording? Mm-hmm. Huh, well, shouldn't we be listening to something, Frank? I have assembled and disassembled it. Quiet. So it should be fixed, Mr. Everhart. I don't know. Maybe it was never meant to play music. Where have you been this whole time? She had with us. She had with us. Oh my god. He's got a knife. Get off me, you lunatic! Sounds serious. I believe Harry visited this exposition. 
when he was looking for answers for my illness. Newberry Port Tierra exhibition coming to Boston by D C D Ward. Instead of me to put it away. Guess we're not meant to read all of it. Goodness me, what a collection of happy news. Strange incident in Massachusetts, the Gardner family vanishes from their Arkham farm. Arkham, that's definitely Lovecraftian. The Gardner family is from the color out of space. Cults and Rituals, an interview with Inspector John Raymond Legrasse. That's the cop from Call of Cthulhu. Oh my. Robert Seidem and his wife found dead at high seas. C.D. Ward is Charles Dexter Ward, by the way. Oh my god, there's Photographic film. references everywhere. Ward and Blake News Agency. Sandra Ward. So, like, most most of Lovecraft's stories took place in New England, like Massachusetts, um, Rhode Island. Someone here had a green thumb. But he did venture out elsewhere as well, like in Arkham. Multiple typewriter. A pulp magazine. I love Chandler Hogarth stories. Yeah. See, this is where, this is where Lovecraft got his start, and and stuff like this. This is basically where, what he was known for, back in the day. Is writing little stories that go in these pulp magazines or cosmic horror or whatever you want to call them. The house at the end of the world. Yeah. See, the name is like H.P. Lovecraft. The title is all, all like Lovecraft. All right, that's a little blurry. It's hard to read for me, so I'm not gonna. It's you guys can. It's too dark to see anything inside the tents. I should find a way to turn these lights on. That's what I said. Never heard of this Eric Zan fella. Funny, funny we say that. So the music of Eric Zan is a book by H.P. Lovecraft. However, it is one I have not read. I don't know anything about it. In in my previous playthrough of the Dark Side Detective, I mentioned a Lovecraftian band called the Darkest of the Hillside Thickets, and um, one of my viewers, uh, Z Phoenix, said that he was listening to a song by them called Eric Zan. How about those apples? That looks serious. I wonder... I wonder if you can even go in the boat. I have a feeling that... Alright, you can. You can also go over there, too. The menu is rather limited here. Yummy. Alright, so... Power for the lights. I don't know if someone in the expedition was a cook, but I really hope they didn't rely on Harry for it. <laughs> when he lived in the dormitory, he only ate out of tomato soup and corn cans. I've never seen anybody with such poor nourishment. So it would seem to me that, that they're powered on from in here. So I don't know if I should focus on powering them up before I look around, right? There's a lot to look around in here. So what's with this cable that goes up? Is that... Right there. What's with that cable that just goes and ends right in there? Jagged rocks couldn't have caused a gash of this size. Well, I mean, lady, hello? That's not an iceberg right there. 
But neither is that. Yeah, I don't I don't know where we powered on. It, it feels like I have to commit one way or another. So what I'll do is I'll check out this tent and then I'll commit. I don't know, maybe that way. Discarded clothing. It hasn't been worn in a long time. A handkerchief with the letters EDW embroidered on it. It's stained with blood and black ooze. Well, don't touch it. A white fedora. It's really dirty. Not that it matters. She she already has the ooze. Oh dear. This dock was a certifiable loom. Yesterday the stones danced with my song. My song, my leaflage, everything is tuned into this place. There is a treasure in shot. Oh my god. Been gluey. These medical tools are hair raising. Well, I'm glad you stayed by his side, whoever you are. Frank, I understand what you're saying, but we can't leave Harry here alone. I know you must be thinking I'm only interested in the scoop, but what would you do if it, if it were your wife who was sick? Would you let her die? I'm staying here to the end. Alright, so who was that? Wait, who was that then? Because that's the person we need to trust if we run into them. See? Okay. No, I would like to... There we go. Looks like Frank wanted to leave, but I don't know if Harry ever read this letter. All right, so going back to uh, Charles Dexter Ward, which is the book, the, the case of Charles Dexter Ward, he was a crazy guy who resurrected a family member and promptly killed him and took over his life, basically. I don't know who Miss Ward would be, though. I don't remember a Miss Ward from the book. Our lives are in grave danger on this island. Look what happened to Dr. DeWitt. The man is going completely b bananas. I really think we should get off this uh, island as soon as possible. Sir Everhart was determined to leave until he found that organ thing. Do I have your support to try to convince him? These two fellas seem to get along pretty well. Frank and Tiahora singing while working in the workshop. Right, so I am committing to this way, and then afterwards we go to the ship, I think. There's a lot going on here. All right. Oh, no. Hmm. These symbols are linked to the piano keys. I do not like musical puzzles at all. All right. I suppose I, I drew that. All right, good. Wow. Look at the size of these stones. South Pacific, Pacific Expedition's megalithic basalt stones. Oh, no. What kind of doodad is this? What do you mean? It's a keyboard, lady. Okay. Alright, I assume it needs power. That's concerning. Maybe a little. Floating stones. That's probably what... What's his name? Saw, right? That son of a bitch DeWitt stabbed Frank! Luckily it was just a flesh wound. It's a good thing they held me back or I would have plugged that nutcase like a rabbit dog that he is. Oh, Jesus, what am I saying? I, I've never seen Harry so angry. Mm -hmm. It might need to be turned on. I think? Captain Hodgson told me that knowing the lunar cycles is useful for better navigation at night. So, Harry probably took this calendar from the Lady Shannon. So they looted it. This might come in handy later on. In a puzzle, I would think. Or else why put it there, right? How can someone build something like this out of stone? C section basalt structure. B 
Huge stone pipe organ. Waves push air through carved stone tubes. Oh yeah, makes perfect sense. Oh, this is different letterhead. University of Denver. You always did have a good ear, Harry. I've been studying the structure for the last few days. The tones it emits change consistently with the tides. All right, so we need to power this place up, which I'm assuming we do up the stairwell with that door. Oh my God, this this place is large. It's curious, but it's the first time since I got sick that I feel useful. Harry is depending on me and not the other way around. So that's the pipe organ. I'm not sure what this tells me. I don't see anything that could be related to a puzzle. We have these three things up here, but they all look the same. We have these holes. What oh. odd structure. It doesn't look like a building though. It's an organ lady. What do you mean? And I didn't draw it in my book, which makes me feel like it's not important. Missing pieces. New moon on the 7th, full moon on the 21st. Yeah, see, that probably means something in a puzzle later on. Over there. I still doubt whether this isn't just some ghastly dream. That'll make it a nice thumbnail, wouldn't it? Um, all right, well, I can't exit here. So this is obviously something that we'll eventually need to turn, I would think. And it might move these rocks to give me access over there or something? I don't know. But I think I hit my dead end here, which means I don't turn the power on here. I can't swim. There are multiple keys, by the way. So that means the power must be turned on inside the ship then? Or that way. You know what, let's go this way first. Okay, that seems like a lot of stuff. All right, all right. That feels like progression to the next area of some sort. And I still need to turn on power, so I'm a uh, I'm sticking with the ship. See, there's cables coming in here. Gives me the creeps. I definitely need to speed up ladders in this game. That's too much. I can't see any trace of the ship's crew, nor their remains. All right, we're following the cable. Should we go upstairs? Wrong. 
parts, so I gotta get them in some sort of order. Now, what exactly did I turn on? Yeah, should I be worried? Here before we go back, obviously. That voice. Is that Harry? No, just a recording. The ship was wailing not far from here. Yep. Also commenting on Lovecraft stories. Wailing, wailing towns. Even the crew of the ship that brought Harry's expedition to this island were afraid of it. And in 34, we just we delivered the six members of the Everhard expedition to the island without incident. We'll come back to pick them up again in three weeks. If there's anything left to pick up by then. Left the island after lunch, no incidents. The area nearby seems adequate for whaling. We might get a good catch. Ship log. I only get to read the one page then? Is there no... Hmm. This is the captain's last entry. Oh, this is the log after they left. Okay. Good weather and clear sailing until a surprise undercurrent re shook the ship. I haven't seen the sea that rough in years. First mate swears he saw a huge sea creature near a hall shortly afterwards. Definitely not a whale. It was a great old one. It was a forbidden sight. A resourceful man. I'll wire up your message to the radio like you asked Mr. Everhart. Uh, it'll keep broadcasting as long as the ship's got fuel. God help us. What were you looking for in the heart of the island? I was thinking this expedition had failed and was worried about how we'd get back home. But then I found those stairs that led me to that giant stone organ. There might be another way to get to the very heart of the island. In any case, there's nothing we can do until someone hears our distress call. It's another game with a island that has a heart, and it and it means it both literally and like figuratively. Oh God! These knobs must control the vibrations inside this chamber. Oh no, not one of these. Oh well, well, I mean they're even. I can't move these. And I was completely covered in that black goo. I wonder what it'll do to me. Everything on this rotten island has something to do with that damn black ooze in one way or another. Even Dr. DeWitt's irrational behavior seems to be related to his getting exposed to that awful liquid. So... The black ooze's properties are perplexing. Changes consistency, levitates when exposed to different vibration frequencies. So, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I have them levitating at the same height, but I don't know if that's what we want, right? Oh, there's another one here. Maybe the legend is more real than it seems. On the island of Penopi, there's a city called uh, Nan Madal that's composed entirely of large basalt structures. Legend has it the city was built with floating stones moved by black magic. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm, I need here. Hmm. 
No idea. Those were, um, remember the, the, the diagram with the pipe organ and it had those three shapes floating above it. Obviously that's this. Um, I don't know if they, they just need to be even or what. And these numbers, why do they not change? They have, I have numbers here, but they're all crossed out and they don't really mean anything. Not to mention, these are only like two sets, 181, 151. And I've got three here. The Lady Shannon has run aground. So I don't know what I'm going to do then. Unaccounted for. So five of us have survived. But now that power is on, I'm going to go back to the Please camp and see what I've unlocked. Maybe the solution to that is not apparent quite yet. Oh my god, I got to go down this ladder, don't I? All right. See you next episode. Only God knows how long I've been covered in this black liquid. I wonder what it's going to do to me. Although I doubt anything could be worse than my illness. Notice how they put dialogue or monologue during the latter to keep your brain occupied so you don't get bored to death. Anything new now that we have light? I don't think I looked over here, did I? The expedition only has five members now. Had had only five members. Tools are hair raising. Nothing new. We should have power in here now, right? Wait, is there a is there a relay that I need to turn on? Look, that's not on. There's no power getting in there. What am I missing? There's power here power here, but not there. Also, this is the same stone piece that's up there. I don't know what that means, but there we have it. power yeah so where is the switch or in here it sounded like something right it was coming out of the water all right so if it feels like I'm at a dead end this is the only place I haven't explored so we're going this way of improvised workshop. Okay. This must be the highest part of the island. And that diamond shape again. How striking. You made it work, Harry. Now it's my turn. Good morning, crew. Sorry for the reveille this morning. I didn't expect to wake up all of you with the noise from that awful organ. The news is that the organ revealed the entrance to a temple. 
bad news is that the temple is on the mountaintop, so I hope you're in the mood for a good hike. All joking aside, if the temple has the answer that I'm looking for, we can finally leave this damn island and go home. Thank you all for sticking with me. So there, there's power over here. So this is the reason the ship was scavenged. If we, Frank, if we want to enter the temple on the mountaintop, we'll have to reproduce the effects of the organ somehow. I know we weren't planning on this, but we'll have to. Build a machine with whatever we can lay our hands on from the Lady Shannon. Do you think we can do that? A different letterhead again. What kind of machine were you building? What kind of machine were you building? Oh, I can't pick it up. Harry isn't usually very chummy, but he really seems to like Frank. Great idea! We'll move the materials we need to the summit so we can set up camp there. Just another thing, please stop calling me Mr. Everhart. Call me Harry, all as all my friends do. Or Harry. Like, why is there waves in this thing here? This is completely cut off from the rest, right? Like, this is stone. Burned photo. I can't make out what's in it. Um, it looks like maybe a key of some sort? I don't know. I guess we're going up the, the the incline here. When I get back home, I'm going to read up on engineering. I've been interested in knowing how things work since I was a child, but I always thought technology wasn't for me. What nonsense. I hear a buzzing sound. Oh my god, this area is, is huge. What is that? <laughs> There's a lot of gears and springs all over the place. That huge stone door looks like an exit. How does it open? I don't know. Yeah, there's like a glimmer, you see? But it's only over here. I think this is just reflection, but that's definitely a glimmer over there. You see how it's not over there, but only over there? It can't go over there either. This ornate structure certainly isn't natural, but not man-made either. So this is glimmering too. Uh, this feels ominous. You're ominous. Oh! So this is like a single eye. So this right here. Um... If it's up or down, then I'm guessing that goes down there? Yeah? Alright. I have to keep an eye out. If there's one, there's probably more. This looks like a window. This one right here, so it's up. So this is going to turn on the... And the organ thing. The fake one. Up. Must be instructions to operate this bizarre structure. Open, close, tuning the organ by opening and closing the right tubes. Ah, okay. 
So up is open, down is closed. So now the question is, do I open all of them? Or is the up down thing, is that wrong? Am I wrong to think that way? I don't know. I don't I don't like how the game isn't clear and something like that because if you guess wrongly, then it takes a very long time to correct it. And this one stays this goes up. This one goes up. Oh. So the horizontal line and the dot, I'm guessing those are down the stairs. So this is that, I assume? No, it's that. Oh, I almost slid right off. Horizontal is down. What is even this? Those symbols seem to indicate the height of the tide. Uh, okay. So we have a low tide at the moment. Does that mean? I'm still missing one, aren't I? wrong they all got to go up in order to open up all the pipes and it has nothing to do with this being on top and this being on the bottom I feel like that is kind of intentionally misleading and in not so fun way but whatever so all the pipes should be open now to change the tide no this is phases of the moon uh... what day is it what is today's date I don't know sure my god I thought that was a I thought that was something standing there I'm not sure what this needs to be at here because these phases look awfully close
it's it can't this isn't the answer because it's only four options and I I can brute force it right and it, nothing's happening oh my god just follow the cables for the love of Pete all you had to do was follow the cables too funny all right let's um i hope you didn't borrow this slide projector from the university of denver old pal all right so we get different tides and we have these symbols this doesn't tell me a whole lot that other than their symbols wait what they change see how this is one dot and then two dots, and then one dot. One dot, two dots, then three dots. So it changes per tide. I think then. this is the right one. Okay. Someone's silly. Oh, I don't like how they got transformed in the black goo. Look at it, it says a sweet girl. Now she's a monster. <sighs> so. I don't know what it means to have the, this, these notes, and then an arrow to these notes. Does this mean that because of the tide, this diamond turns into these two triangles? So if that's the case, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Three, nine, two hertz. All right, and then the two diamonds turns into the horizontal triangles, which is one, two, three, four. Oh, three diamonds turns into the window, which is five. And then the window turns into the one, which is in the beginning. The two triangles is three diamonds. These two triangles would then be the two diamonds. And then this window here is four. One, two, three, four. So playing those in order didn't mean anything. All right, I'm convinced our answer is here somewhere. Where I have no. All right, all right, so that's, okay, okay. So, I see what we need to do then. Oh, we need to get all three of these lit up. All right, fine. Where does this guy need to go? And this needs to go up one more, fantastic. So this has to come down to here. Um. So I was right about them being even. I just had them too high.
All right, I think I just got myself in a worse position. Can I reset it? There we go. No, I just turned it off. It's that last one. I'm close, though. I write down those numbers in my journal. Oh, uh, okay. 262-349-415. So we have this one. Um, 349, this one. And 415, that one. See, walking long distances isn't too much of a problem until you are guessing at puzzles, right? If I'm walking a distance and I know the answer of the puzzle I'm on my way to solve, you feel like you accomplished something. But if you're going back and forth trying things out, the distance in between is frustrating. It's annoying. It's not fun. Alright, so what am I doing now? We need those, are those the three we need open then? I don't know where this I don't know if I'm on the right track with this tide thing I'm pretty sure we're in a new moon so I've got that set to new because the expedition this happened on November 7th right where was that at November 7th 1934 I think this is what because remember November 7th November 7th is a new moon I think that's what I want it set at. So I think this part is right over here. So the question is, do I turn them all off except for those three vibrations? And are those three vibrations changed because of the tide? This is the part I'm not sure about. I'm gonna start with assuming they're not changed and go from there. So I want to leave open the diamond, the four diamonds. I keep calling these things different names I know. And the sideways triangles. We leave those open. Sideways triangles. Two diamonds close. Window close. Three, three diamonds closed, right? Window? Yeah, that's that. Close. The whole tide thing is a little weird. Then it changes the vibrations. I don't know. Weird. Close, right? No, open. And we leave that open, right? So do I have it? Only three of them are open. Diamond, four diamond, sideways triangles. Diamond, four diamond. It feels like it's a, a, a cheap protection that was used in like old point and click games. So the tide is different based on who's playing the game. That way my answers will not be the same as other people's answers to prevent cheating. This is something they used to do in old point and click games. All right, so th none of that worked. So what I think I'm going to do is diamond. I need to do vertical windows or triangles. One diamond. Two diamonds. One diamond open. 
two diamonds open. What was the other one? I forgot already. One diamond open. Vertical triangles. Nope, that stays closed. This is, this is my last guess, by the way. If this is not the answer, then I'm stumped. Wait a minute. That's too many. This one should be closed. I missed that one. All right, if this doesn't work, I'm screwed. Let's just pretend that moving rocks is okay. A button. That's it? Couldn't I have swam over here? Oh, it's an elevator. Why do I feel like... What is that? Why do I feel like this game is going to end with like a giant Cthulhu overlooking me? My dear old man, I think I'm getting closer to understanding what is happening to you, but it is taking a toll on my sanity. As fascinating as this island and its ancient and unfathomable wonders may seem, it's also a place plagued with misfortune and calamities. We lost Roy at the campsite. We almost lost our engineer on this beach. The doctor went mad and stabbed him with a strange knife. And all because of this island, Nora. Initially, we were optimistic and in high spirits, but now we've all become resentful and discouraged. Even I can feel how I am constantly assaulted by dark thoughts. Anyway, if what I am going through here helps me find you a cure, it'll have been worth it. I hope to find an answer in the temple on that mountain peak. Love you always. Harry. I hope there's no video in there because that looks awkward. He is worried, exhausted, disheartened. I will find you, my love. See what the next one does. Okay, this is normal. Just, just to point out, with with this whatever liquid is coming down here, I don't know. It looks kind of like wings of a Cthulhu, and this kind of looks like the tentacled face of a Cthulhu. Maybe that's coincidence. Maybe not. I don't know. That door is open now. I wonder 
other one that was orange. Right? We're just gonna hop right into it. <laughs> 